Welcome back. In the previous video, I gave the basic definition of oxidation and reduction. So, and I said something that the definition of oxidation and reduction actually goes beyond that. So, in this video, we'll be examining other definition of oxidation. So now, um, oxidation can be defined as the loss of electron. So, in short, oxidation is loss of electron. So, for example, look at um, copper, for example. Okay, let me use iron. Let me use iron, for example. Look at what happens, for example. Neutral iron. So, what happens to iron is that iron lost an electron to become iron plus. Yes, E minus. Now look at this E minus, this electron, this representation of electron. Now, it has a charge of minus 1. Look at ion here, it has a charge of plus 1. So plus 1 minus 1, 0. So you can see that it's balanced, the charge is balanced. So when we add them together, that's why you have Fe here. Now further, if another reaction takes place, Fe plus, starting from here, yield Fe. 2 plus plus E negative. So this is an electron. So this is minus 1 plus 2. Plus 2 minus 1. We have plus 1. That's why you have plus A. So you can see that it's balanced. The overall charge is balanced on both sides. So I think you get the analogy. Now the same thing goes. So when you have Fe 2 plus. So then you have Fe 3 plus plus e negative so what actually happens now look so minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 3 you have plus 2 so the, what actually happens is that ion lost an electron here it lost an electron here to become ion 1 ion can you see so the same thing happens ion 1 ion lost an electron also this electron so to become ion 2 Aion here, can you see? So the same thing, ion 2 ion lost an electron. This is this, this the this is how um they lose electron. This is what the reaction that takes place. So it loses electron here to become ion 3 ion here. So from here to here. Are you getting it? So oxidation is loss of electron. So let's go. That's the first example. That's loss of electron. Now another thing forward, increasing oxidation number. Oxidation is the increasing oxidation number. Now look at the example. Fe C L2 plus C L2 yield um is that what do I have? Maybe Cl2 plus C L2. We have two Fe C L3. So now look at the equation. Let me see how to plus here equals to. So and oxidation is the increasing oxidation number. Now let let me quickly show you something. So for example, all uh, non uh, met, most most non-metallic elements. So their oxidation number is um, eight minus their group number. For example, now chlorine is in group seven of the periodic table. So group seven that's seven minus eight. Then you have uh, minus one. So the oxidation number of chlorine is minus one. So for sulfur also, for example, sulfur is in group six of the periodic table. That's six minus uh, eight. Don't forget this. It's eight minus their group number. You subtract it from their group number, and you have minus two. That's why um, chlorine is usually written like this, Cl minus, and sulfur is usually written like this, S two minus. So that's the essence of that. So now what am I? Why am I saying this? Now look at something in a situation whereby the oxidation number of Chlorine is minus 1, as I have said. Minus 1 times 2 will give us minus 2. Minus 2. So don't forget in the rules for assigning oxidation number, I mentioned something that a neutral compound has an oxidation number of 0, equal to 0. So now, for this one to be equal to 0, that's FeCl2 is equal to 0. Now, for this to be equal to 0, that means plus 2 must balance it here. Plus 2 minus 2, 0. So, ion is actually plus 2 here. So the same thing goes for ion FeCl3 here. So now, um, if Cl is minus 1, minus 1 times 3, minus 3. So Fe, so for Fe has to have plus 
3 also plus 3 minus 3 0 I hope you are getting so uh, the oxidation number of iron actually increases since from plus 2 to plus 3 so that's why you see oxidation is the increase in oxidation number now this is oxidation oxidation increasing oxidation number now the react what actually happens is that ion ion 2 ion here actually lose an electron to become ion 3 ion now how does it happen just like the reaction i gave you in the previous example fe2 plus will yield fe3 plus plus e minus it, it lost an electron now minus one plus three that's plus two that's why you have plus two here so that's the essence of that so let me clean it up so this is actually um oxidation so now let's move oxidation is the addition of electronegative element and removal of electropositive element so uh, for example now um two n a two n a so for example two n a plus C L two two N A plus C L two will yield two N A C L. Now look at it. Oxidation is the addition of electronegative elements. Now what are these electronegative elements? For example, oxygen is taking most non-metallic elements. They are taken to be electronegative. Why metallic elements are taken to be electropositive? So since oxygen is electronegative, so the, the definition of electronegativity was further extended to um to chlorine, bromine, sulfur, and some other substances, and some other non-metallic non substances. So in this case, now oxidation is the addition of electronegative element. Now look at look here. Look at chlorine here. So it was it was um, sulfur and sodium here. And it's chlorine was added to it here. So this is what we call oxidation because it is a reaction with in which electronegative element was added to an, to an, to another element so that's why this oxidation this is an oxidation reaction so now the same thing goes for oxidation is the removal of hydrogen from a substance oxidation is the removal of hydrogen from a substance now look at this reaction a2s plus cl2 plus 2hcl equals to s now look look here now look at here from here this hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen was removed from it, it became sulfur here. So this was this is an example of oxidation, the removal of hydrogen from a substance. So this is oxidation. Can you see? So now uh, we cannot. The, why can't we call this one oxidation? The reason the reason we can't call it oxidation is that look at chlorine here, it became HCl here. Oxidation was not removed. Oxygen was actually added to it here. So that's why you can call it an oxidation reaction. So the same thing goes here. If we go, if we go back to this definition, addition of electronegative element. Now look here, electronegative element was added here. Are you getting it? Electronegative element was added here. So that's why we can call it um we, we can call it oxidation reaction. So um that's that on that. Now let me quickly tell you what a reducing agent is. I know we identify a reducing agent. Now um, any substance that um, have any of these characteristic characteristics is a reducing agent. Why? Let me show you why. For example, any substance any substance that lost electron in a chemical reaction is a reducing agent. Are you getting it? For example, now in this case now, now look here. I told you something that ion ion two ion actually lost an electron to become ion three ion. Are you getting it? So let me show you the reaction again. Um, okay, let me show you here. Fe2 plus, um, it lost an electron now. Look, Fe3 plus plus E negative. Now, can you see? From Fe2 plus A, it turns to Fe3 plus A by losing an electron. By losing an, an electron. Now, anyone that lost an electron is the reducing agent for example this on the definition of reducing so in this case now the ion is our reducing so we can call this one our reducing agent so permit excuse me please so let's go further so in our definition now what is a reducing agent again any substance in which the oxidation number 
increases. So the same thing still goes for this one. The oxidation number was plus two here. It became plus three. It's a reducing again. So the same designation goes again. So another one is addition of electronegative element. Any substance in which electronegative element is added to it is a reducing again. For example, in our case now, electronegative element, that's chlorine, was added to sodium. So sodium is our reducing agent. Are you getting it? Now, removal of hydrogen from a substance. That's removal of hydrogen from a substance. Now, any substance in which hydrogen is removed from is the reducing agent. Are you getting it? So that's that's extended. That's a reducing agent. That's a reducing agent. That's a reducing agent. So I hope you understand. So anyone that carry out any of these characteristics is the reducing agent. While anyone, while the one that, um, in which, ox, for example, the one in which oxidation takes place is being oxidized. Are you getting it? It is being oxidized. So thanks for watching. So, so if you have any difficulty, you can come you can check our previous video on oxidation and reduction. Don't forget to share with others and subscribe. I'm Dr. K. See you again in the next video. Bye.